What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing out there today? I am Robert LaRocco. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you like this kind of content, please think about commenting, subscribing, give me a thumbs up, or give me a thumbs down, you know, whatever your opinion is. Uh, but it, uh, today's topic is going to be SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Again, yes, I'm talking about SOCOM again. Now, the reason I'm bringing up SOCOM again is because I began to realize and see something that's SOCOM related. And I want to, I want to bring it to, I want to bring, I'm going to bring this to light um, because this is real, it really bothers me that a corporation can do something and get away with it and no one is uproaring about it. Um, everything is being looked at today and tackled, whether it's from Black Lives Matter, political stuff, um, you know, injustice for everybody that, that, that's been done wrong. And it, it's, so corporations need to be held accountable for actions that they have taken. Now, um, this particular topic is going to be SOCOM. Um, I'm going to talk about the corporation side of things, and I'm also going to talk about the fan base side of things because I believe it goes hand in hand, and I want the community to understand that I am a SOCOM advocate. I love SOCOM. I met my, my second online family with SOCOM. Uh, my first one was on EverQuest. We didn't really use the chat system on EverQuest, so it was kind of hard to, you know, officially talk to people. But I met SOCOM people online, and I met people on World of Warcraft, and then, you know, it just it took off from there. So, to, to, to get you to understand, um, this, this, this really bothers me because I, I've met good people online. I have friends that met their wives and their husbands online and over SOCOM and got married and are still together to this day. It brought their family together. And, and, and yeah, you can go play other games, do the exact same thing, but when you have a staple or a foundation in something that you believe in and, and, and you know it's making money, you know it's doing good, um, you know, it's, it's you support that stable. You keep it. You keep it going. You you make sure that the company that makes it is doing well. So that's what scares me about the Sony and stuff today. Well, um, how, how it works out like this: in 2014, um, they released SoCon 5. SoCon 5 was completely awful. It was a 13, 2012. I can't remember. They they did SoCon SoCon 2, 3. Um, three combined assault and then they did confrontation and then they did, they did five or was it four? God, I can't. I didn't play the last the last two newest ones because they were just terrible from the beta. Uh, so I was a confrontation guy, I was a SOCOM 2 guy, and I was a SOCOM 3 guy. Um, and I was I was passionate about it through and through. Did it have its issues? Yes. Every every game has its issues when it comes to playing online because online gaming for consoles is was still fairly new during that time period. So I knew there was gonna be a lot of problems. So when it comes to Sony with, with, and Zipper Interactive or uh, Sign Out 6 games, they came out with a SOCOM Confrontation. It was an online only game. It was There was no single player to this game. You can only play it online, okay? Which was, which was fine, okay? Um, and then Sony decided to take down the servers. Hmm. Took its servers down in 2014. Didn't really give much of a warning to anybody that they were going to do this. And that really made me mad. It made a lot of fans mad. And But the problem is, they were they were pissed for like a week and then, then it stopped. No one cared. And that's where... That's what bothers me. Is th That's where the fan base comes into this argument. Now... Why ain't Sony being held responsible for taking people's money for a game and not giving them their money back, or, or being taken to court over this? Because that's thievery. Where I come from, if I can't play my game that I paid for, that's stealing. You can't. And then you got GameStop over here and um, EB Games. They're all they're reselling these games. They're completely taking them and reselling them, and people are going home and not not being able to play them. So. So I can't I, I can't even download SOCOM anymore because Sony took it took it away. They took my money and took the game and they just took it away. So now at this point, where does a corporation like Sony Computer Entertainment, where is the corporation for the penalties and the fines and and 
the investigations for this. Okay, so let's go to Black Widow 88. Black Widow 88 was a very, very thorough uh, supporter of SOCOM. He, he, he did videos. He kind of explained what's going on, what's wrong with them. He did little skits for it. He, he was like a thorough and thorough guy for, for, for SOCOM. And then we get H Hour. And then HR World's Elite and then Black Widow 88 joined. He doesn't join their craft, their creation team, but he joins to give input on it. And they make him sign an MDA saying he won't go out and say this, that, and the other. We were supposed to get H Hour on the PlayStation 4. And guess what? Never happened. Uh, we only got it on console. So, I'm um, sorry, I only got it on PC. So, I don't want to play my games on PC, okay? I like sitting on my Lazy Boy. I don't like sitting in the computer chair because I'm old, my legs hurt, and this, that, and the other. So, at this point, uh, everyone I knew didn't have gaming pieces at the time. And I got one now, but I already play it. I use it for other stuff, for like YouTube and stuff like that. But, he is completely falling off the face of the planet. It's like he, 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 like he stopped giving a shit. And that really bothers me because he was so forward about it and he was so active and taking SOCOM's side and now he just doesn't care because of his MDA. Um, which is fine because he won't get himself sued. Now let's talk about... So where's the justice for SOCOM? I'm going to start doing... I'm going to start hashtagging that justice for SOCOM. Justice for the SOCOM community. Because... Sony has completely dropped that community on its face. That every year on July 17th, they update the license for the Soulcom game. They they have it in a vault in, in a shell. It's shelved. They do. They have this game, dude, and they're paying for the license every year to keep it to keep the IP, and they're not doing nothing with it. And that's what drives me nuts. Sell it to another another. The studio, let them make it, bring it out, or re remaster it, and bring it out. Let's bring out a remastered version. We don't need nothing fancy. <laughs> Anyways, so let's talk about the Arc Survival, not the Arc shit, SOCOM community. I've begun to realize this recently, and this is what this really bothers me. The SOCOM community, they, um, They have stopped. I feel like they have stopped caring. And that's all. I only say that because you got people coming out with so calm for the PS3 that they figured out a way to run their own private servers. And people are getting their SOCOM fix there. And then you got this Fortnite SOCOM. People getting their SOCOM fixed there. Okay, so all this stuff is taking place. But no one is pressing the envelope against Sony. Why? Why aren't you pushing the envelope against Sony? Dude, I comment at least once every couple of days. Or every couple of weeks, depending on how busy I am. To Sony, letting them know we want another SOCOM. What are you doing? Like, give us some information. Throw us some leaks. Give us, let us know you're working on something. Don't tell us what. Just say, hey, I work, we're working on a third person tactical shooter. And just leave it at that. I'd rather have a grain of rice of information that says next to nothing than nothing at all. And these, in, in the community that loves SOCOM, they're not saying anything. They're not. I'm sorry. So you got Sony Computer Entertainment that took a game offline and didn't give no one a fucking excuse. And then you got, and then you got uh, 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 the community that doesn't back it. This is why they're not putting any horsepower into it because our community is not backing us. They, they're getting their fix from all these, all these amateur SOCOM server runners. You can't expect me. To not be upset over this, I don't care. It's, I pay twenty bucks for confrontation. That's not the point why I'm mad. I'm mad because a corporation is doing something and not getting away from it. Where's the better Better Business Bureau on this? Hmm? Why ain't no one reported this stuff to them? Gaming is a billion-dollar industry. Okay. 
this this the, all these new games coming out, they're nothing like SOCOM was. They're not. They're just it's a completely different feel. All I'm saying is all if you're a SOCOM fan and you're watching this video, you need to stand your ass up and you need to comment, you need to tag uh, Herman Hurst and, and this this Yosh guy in, in in your comments and say we want another SOCOM. What are you doing? How are you helping the community? Speak up. Pull your balls from your mouth and speak up. Being a fucking pussy about fucking doing shit. Stand up for what you believe in. Everyone else is. Why not you do the shit too? Out. Peace. SOCOM. Fuck you, Sony.